Daniel, well done the stage win. Can you talk about today's stage and how it worked out for you? Yeah, um, I was a good, it's a good stage win. I'm, I'm kind of happy with it. Um, we were kind of watching all the moves. We raced very aggressive all day, and um, we we actually went out there with every move that was going. Um, then over the climb, the climb was very hard, so I managed to hang in. I stuck on, going over it, and um, this group of about 20 away coming off the other side. So I did. I wasn't sure if I was going to come back together. Um, it ended up coming back together, and the group from behind caught back on. Um, so, like so McConvey, they kept they kept the pace high coming in the road with the last 20k. Um, and then Mark, my teammate, with about 10k to go, he started looking after me. He came up and he made sure, you know, that he he kept me out of the wind the whole way. I didn't have to fight for any positions or anything. So I was just sitting there comfortably behind him. Um, he took me, I'd say, to about 2k, and um, he was done. So there was Paddy. Paddy was there as well, and Paddy was going for a few digs off the front to try and keep the, the speed up. Um, and then I had uh, Aidan Crowley for the last 2k and um, I just, just took his wheel and he brought me close like I, I kind of started to sprint uh, far out and um, just I was happy enough I, I got, a, got a good win like a clear win so happy with that. There were some crashes inside the last 100 meters but I guess with the positioning by the guys you were, you were ahead of the danger? Yeah I was I didn't even see it I only heard about it afterwards like um, it was really scrappy coming in the road, like everyone was fighting for wheels and everything. Like so, it was it was dangerous, especially with the the rain. It was just the, the ground was so slippery, like and you know if you if you hit a cat eye or anything, it was just so dangerous, so hard to keep it up. Like so, uh, it's it's good. It's been a good race for the Sport Active team. You have today's stage win and then that of Pawdy yesterday as well. Yeah, which well, is we're very happy now with it because. Um, Paddy got the win yesterday, I got the win today, we got a, a fourth place, I think we got a fifth or sixth, we got an, an eighth, a tenth, and, and uh, Ryan was third on the hill, hill climb yesterday, and the boys were pretty well up overall as well, Like so I really came together now this weekend, so we had a good weekend of it. What's left for you this year? I'm not too sure, um, like there's not much left in Ireland, but um, I'm going to try and get out to Belgium for a while and see if I can, I, re I want to race it really late this year because I've missed I've missed six weeks after the Tour of Ulster because I had a crash and that put me out, uh, put me out of the Ross and all that like, so I missed a big chunk of the season and I'd like to get to Belgium and see if I could race up until like September or something like that, just to bring on the season a bit. And longer term, is it something you'd like to do is to be based abroad and to, to race over in Belgium or somewhere else? Oh, definitely, yeah. Like, to be honest, my goal is to, to to get a continental team or something like that, like, and get onto the Unpost team and, you know, either do lead outs or something like that or, or be, you know, kind of get up and sprint. It's, uh, I just, I, I love stage races, you know, and I seem, I always seem to go pretty well in them. And um, just hopefully now, hopefully it keeps going, going up from here. And uh, I'll give it, give it a go anyway for a few years and, and see how it goes. What age are you now? Uh, 23 now, 24 in September. So like, I've spent, I've been injured with the last three years, you know, I've had back problems, and I'm still not, still not fully cured of that. Even this weekend, I got a lot of grief from that now, and I'm not too sure if I'll be going, go for an operation or not. But um, we just keep going out for another another month anyway and see how it how, how the back holds up and if it's if it's good you know I might be able to avoid an operation and um, if not I'll just have to get it sorted because it's it can be it can hinder it a lot like you know so. presumably once you have it sorted out it's going to help the racing a lot oh, exactly yeah I mean I suffer so much because of it like it cuts off the, the circulation you know to one leg the nerve supply and it just uh, in the middle of the race, I can just leg goes dead. It's just like cycling with one leg, like so. It can be really difficult, like even in training and everything. It's so frustrating. Sometimes I have to turn around after an hour. Even could be out the road ten minutes, and I might have to turn around. So it, um, I'm working on it a lot, like uh, doing loads of core work and all that kind of stuff to, to try and sort it out. And I was perfect in Ulster, but it was a crash in Ulster that put me out again. So it was just just a bit of bad luck. Now, and hopefully we can get it under control and.